हेलो एवरीवन हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द चैनल एवरी बूस्ट लर्निंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ इंसेक्ट सो आई एम गिविंग यू द पिक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थ्रू विच यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ इंसेक्ट और यू कैन से इंसेक्ट रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम बोथ आर सेम सो हेयर इज द पिक्चर ऑफ बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल But in today's video, I am only discussing or covering the female reproductive system. Okay, so first we have ovary, spermatical gland, spermatheca, vagina, excretory gland, common ovary duct, lateral ovary duct, calyx, ovules, and terminal filament. You can clearly see all the parts. Okay, I know that you all know about insect, but we are discussing about insect. So two lines for insect. Okay. Insects are bisexual. The reproductive system is divided into two genitalia, internal or external. Internal genitalia develop germ cells. External genitalia helps or enables female to deposit eggs. Now, as per my topic, female reproductive system. Okay. So, female reproductive system has first ovaries. Here, I am describing you all the part, but I have given you the picture. by side so that you can see and understand what i want to convey to you very clearly now ovary ovary is present on the either side of the alimentary canal it is connected to body wall by suspensory ligament it is covered with fat body and trachea it consists of number of ovules and egg tubes ovules okay ovules are double layered cellular wall outer ovule sheath with supply of trachea the inner layer is elastic tunica ligament is attached to body wall or dorsal diaphragm the egg are discharged into the lateral ovary duct number of ovules in an ovary varies usually 4 to 8 but in isopetera more than 200 okay sorry it's 2000 my mistake so isopetera has 2000 isopetera is a order typical ovule or egg tube consists of three parts namely first is terminal filament second is egg tube third is supporting stalk or pedicel egg tube is divided into two parts now our next topic is germanium or egg chamber so it contain the premodular germ cell these cells give rise to three types of cells germ cells developing into ogonia and finally to oocytes nutritive cells or nurse cells follicle cells third is follicle cells now next topic is vitellarium or zone of growth it contain large number of oocytes and egg in different stage of development in the anterior the nurse cell or oocytes remain mixed at center in the posterior end oocytes are enclosed by follicle cell to form follicular layer nurse cells absorb nutrition from hemolymph through follicular cell and transmit it to oocyte in some cases nurse cells are absent so follicular cell provide nutrition to oocytes okay now i have given you explanation about ovules now let us see something about types of ovules so types of ovules on the basis of presence and absence of nutritive cells and their location first is panonistic nutritive cell are absent and oocyte developed by follicular cell in this nutritive cells are absent but follicular cell cells develop through oocytes here are some example you can see these are orders orthopetera dictopetera these are all orders okay second is meristic it contains nutritive cells now based on the position of triophytes there are two types on the basis of position of triophytes first is 
polytropic and second is acrotropic so let us see first polytropic oocytes and triocytes are arranged alternatively in in vitellarium example mein aap dekh sakte ho dermapotera now second is acrotropic in acrotropic trophocytes are present in the apex and contain or connected to develop oocytes by cytoplastic strands in this hymenoptera is the example hymenoptera is a order okay now i am giving you the picture through which you can see the panistic polytropic and acrotropic here are the symbols which is denoted by as c f e g and n i hope you can see and you are clear what i want to explain to you all now come to our next topic lateral orbiter proximal end of all ovules join to form lateral orbiter the wall of oviduct is glandular or muscular now second is median oviduct median oviduct jo hai wo do lateral oviduct ke combine hone se banta hai ab hamara aata hai vagina vagina jo hai wo median oviduct mein open hota hai tubular vagina okay it is formed by invagination of body wall from eighth segment open outside and the opening is called vulva i have given you the picture in which you can see vulva it is the outside opening it receives the sperm and discharge the egg okay now our next topic is bursa cortex now come to the point vagina develop a separate pouch called bursa copularis it has two reproductive opening first is vulva for receiving sperm which open on it sternum and second is ovipore or you can say gonopore which is on ninth segment for egg discharge here you can see the example lepidoptera lepidoptera is again a order spermatheria now what is spermatheria and where it is present so spermatheria is the opening of vagina through spermatical duct it is used for storing the sperm it also produce some fluid which is responsible for longevity of cell now next topic is excretory gland a pair of collateral gland which open to the distal portion of vagina it secrete the substance which is responsible for the formation of otheca of cockroach it may poisonous secretion in the case of hymenoptera again hymenoptera is also a order you all know and you all will understand what i want to say about hymenoptera it is a sticky substance now again excretory gland it is a sticky substance which is useful for the attachment of egg to the substrate now this is all about the topic of female reproductive system of insect i think that i am able to explain you what i want to give you the information about female reproductive system of insect i hope i have given you a simple summary